I'm going to share with you a little bit more information about um, the eco footprint of Dermalogica and how they really are striving as a big company to be able to reduce down waste and packaging is a little bit smarter and being more conscious of consumer awareness and needing to reduce down to eco plastics and things as well. Um, you will probably know if not let's go through but you should probably know that anything with an SPF has to have the SPF symbol and the number of the factor and it needs to say that that will always cover you for UVA it doesn't always state what UVB are and that is where some of the stars came in for people to see how much UVB coverage were um, and it's not an essential part to place on a packaging but it's actually very good for consumers to be a little bit more aware. So all of the Dermalogica will say broad sunscreen and that's their version instead of using stars means that it's protecting you from UVA and UVB. Now all packaging also will have the recyclable symbols on them just like the foods and instead of a best before date like foods it has like this little jar with a lid opened and then a number in it. And that number indicates how long you can have that product being um, fresh and healthy and essential oils and ingredients in there, just like food, can oxidize and go rancid and turn off. So it'll tell you from how many months that, that can be used. So this one says 24 months in it, how long that can actually be okay to use on your skin once it's been opened so a little there Dermalogica has actually started in some new packaging rolling out recently and we're bringing in more sort of symbols on there so consumers can have more information and be a little bit more informed about what's going on so we're talking about animal cruelty it's always been um, non-animal tested any of their products but this symbol with the leaping bunny is also recognized for um, being gluten free and vegan friendly then we've also got the fact that we are formulating without artificial fragrances and colours. That's always been the case with Dermalogica as well. So all fragrances, actually some of the products you might find don't smell very much at all, but some of the, all the fragrances are coming from the plant, fruit extracts, essences that way. Um, colours, again, no artificial colours to make anything look pretty because that is actually detrimental on the skin to put all those colours into the skin. It can be kind of comedogenic, pore clogging. And then we're also putting the D on there as well to show people that it's a professional grade product. So we are not talking about a cosmetic product that just makes something look good. It's actually a cosmeceutical product where research, clinical studies, trials, a lot has gone into the actual development side of this. And that's what makes it a professional grade product. Um, also, what's been rolling out recently is more glass jars. Let me just grab this one. Um, so some of the new body products, this is coming out in a, a glass jar. Um, it sits beautifully on the shelf in your bathroom, of course, but so much nicer than actually producing more fresh, what they call virgin plastics. That's what we need to be concentrating on, is actually the virgin production of plastics rather than the recyclable versions. Plastics are recyclable, so we need to do our part as consumers as well and make sure we are recycling our plastics. So some of the little travel sizes, I know quite common for a lot of people to buy the little travel kit, either as a starter kit or just to have an extra spare set for their gym bag or traveling away. Then getting the larger pumps because it's more economical cost-wise and reusing those mini bottles. So where you can reuse the bottles, the cleansers and the toners, normally you can get refilled as well. Um, all the moisturizers and everything else they all come in tubes so they're not very good at refilling um, well you can't refill them uh, um, but that's for the reason the fact of the health and the hygiene side of the product keeping contamination out if we have jars with lids then we're putting our fingers in we can only use that jar about four or five times before we've contaminated that entire product. So there is a sensible reason why we're producing tubes that need to be thrown away. Quite a lot of the time though, 
at the end of the tube it can be a little bit difficult to get out so really squeeze them down I think some of the smaller products like the multivitamin serums and the eye products they can come in a little box with a little plastic thing that you squish all the way down the tube in order to get every last drop out of it because it's like gold dust isn't it to some people um, also other things recently we've seen Biolumin C it's been 30 mils but the actual bottle has been condensed itself to really squish that 30 mil in so the size of the product is uh, looks reduced but it's the same millage I promise you um, but that's also just to be a little bit friendlier in the recycling as well so we're not over producing too much packaging as well that's coming down we're always in uh, boxes if they're using boxes they tend to be using those as well which are all recyclable or I know someone keeps their products all in their boxes just because they love the boxes so much um, and you can see that actually there's so many products that Dermot Roger could do so it will take a while if they're streamlining that also with the delivery system we are always getting deliveries in boxes that are eco recyclable boxes that could be recycled keeping away any of the plastic packaging um, I don't know if you've noticed there's another company I've, I've got that use the, like the, you know like the little squishy plastic noodle thingies I don't know what they're called like they look like polystyrene like Cheetos they're actually not polystyrene anymore which is brilliant that some of these companies are rolling this stuff out um, they're very very messy still and really get in the way uh, but they're actually producing these ones now which you can just literally dissolve in water so when they are getting thrown away they're being dissolvable and not actually causing anything they can be washed away down the sink if you like and i did an experiment with the kids which was brilliant where they put one of those things in a glass of water and just watched the whole thing disappear it was a brilliant way of um, uh, imagination and i think the world is going to start seeing more and more eco-friendly packaging us becoming more aware um, but as a consumer playing our parts as well of being recyclable shopping wisely and uh, thinking things like that you know recyclable bags um, i bought a net bag for the fruit and vegetables the other day as well thinking yeah you know i'm going to collect up more loose fruit and vegetables instead of the pre-packed ones as well um, i know this huge subject to talk about because me personally sort of to buy six apples in a plastic wrap compared to six apples loose loose apples are going to cost me more money um, i think we are being a little bit sort of guided or coaxed into these decisions but we do need to make conscious awareness where we can for sure i know if i'm going to buy some lemons and i only need two why do i need a bag of five so it's going to go off and the wastage so it's all about reducing our waste ourselves isn't it and recycling one more thing actually as i remembered all the packaging and all the ink that goes into those they're all vegetable inks vegetable dyes um, so they are obviously recyclable but also friendly in the inking process too hopefully i've given you a little bit more but if you've got any more questions about packaging um sizes recycling what you can feel what you can't feel any extra little tips or tricks then obviously let's have the conversation